The month of May 2022 has just ended. That brings us to eight months completed in the DV 2022 program. And today I'm here to present to you the current statistics with two thirds of the program completed. Welcome to this discussion. When the DV 2022 program started, the number of interviews conducted was so low that it appeared like visa issuance wouldn't have gotten anywhere close to the total number of visas available for the program. But close to the middle of the fiscal year, there was a turnaround. And since then, the numbers in the DV 2022 program have become quite encouraging, as you will see from our table in a moment. But before we go over to the table, I must mention a few things. Firstly, the number of cases that are ready for interview has been very high for the last two months. Currently, there are many interviews that are being scheduled in the DV 2022 program. And some of you who are watching this video will receive your interview notification in the coming weeks, especially if you have a low case number, as low case numbers are being prioritized over high ones. Now, with the current status of the program, some of you have been asking what you can do to affect the scheduling of your interview. But I will say that there is nothing you can actually do at this point to make your interview happen. What you had to do, you have already done it. You have met the necessary requirement to be eligible for an interview. So what you can do is what you have already been doing. Just wait and continue to monitor relevant locations, including your email, your entry status, and your case status to be informed whenever your interview is scheduled. Having said that, let us now move over to our table to consider the numbers. This is the current status of the DV 2022 program on today, June 1st. For the number of cases that are in transit from KCC to various embassies around the world, we have 245 for the Africa region, 108 for the Asia region, 46 for the Europe region, and then below we have the numbers for the smaller regions. Now in the next column, we have the cases that have already arrived at various embassies and are ready for interview. For the Africa region, we have 2,996 cases, which correspond to 6,726 applicants. For the Asia region, we have 2,045, and that corresponds to 4,683 applicants that are ready for interview in the Asia region. For the Europe region, the number of cases that are ready for interview is 2,939, which have a total of 7,921 applicants. In the North America region, it's one case with three applicants. For the Oceania region, it's 259 cases with a total of 624 applicants. And finally, in the South America region, we have 605 cases that amount to 1,378 applicants. That brings the total number of cases that are ready for interview at various embassies around the world to 8,845, totaling 21,335 applicants. We will come back to this number in a moment, but let's move to the next column where we have the number of visas that have been issued. This time around, we consider the numbers that are in parentheses because they are the actual number of visas that have been given out. We have 5,118 visas that have been issued to applicants from the Africa region for the first eight months of this program year. For Asia, it is 2,905 visas that have been issued to that region for the first eight months in this program year. For Europe, it is 
57 for North America, six visas have been so far issued. For Oceania, it is 261. And then finally, for South America, we have 484 visas that have been issued. So that brings the total number of visas that have been issued so far in this 2022 program to a total of 15,831. Now, in the next column, we have cases that were put on administrative processing. And then in our final column, we have cases that were unfortunately refused visas. Now, let us move back to the number that I said we will come back to in a moment that is at the bottom of our table in the final row. The total number of applicants that are currently ready for interview, that is 21,335. Now, it is true that not all of these applicants are going to be issued visas, but the majority of them will definitely be successful at their interviews. So from that number, we can expect at least two thirds to qualify for a diversity visa. Now, considering that number is going to be somewhere around 15,000. So when added to the number of visas that have already been issued so far in this program year, in two months, we expect the total number of visas issued to be somewhere around 30,000. Now, if interviews continue at this pace, then hopefully by the end of this program year, we can expect to have somewhere around 40,000 visas that will be issued in the 2022 program. So this is the status of the DV 2022 program after eight months. And so let's end our discussion here for today. Now, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment area below and I'm going to respond to them. And I will see you, God willing, in our next discussion very soon. Goodbye.